What's up, hedgehogs and lady hedgehogs? My name is Your Fair Socks, and welcome back to my Let's Play Sonic Generations for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, and Nintendo 3DS. This is going to be a bonus episode covering the five modern Sonic stages of City Escape. But before we get started, I'd like to recommend the one challenge that you should do to get the City Escape key, and that is Act 1, Challenge 2. This is the Thunder Shield Challenge. Now, I think of this as probably the best shield in the whole entire game, not because it gives you immunity towards electrical hazards, and not because it works like the Magnet Shield attracting rings towards you, but because it gives you the ability to double jump. And something like that in a platformer such as this can be really useful. And that's all I have to say about it. So, without further delay, let's move on to... Wait for it. Act 2, Challenge 1. Shall we? Alright, and the first mission is Cream, Helping Hand. The only rings are the ones Cream drops for you. Get to the goal in time. Hmm. Alright then, this should be challenging. Let's get started. I'll help you with the rings, Mr. Sonic. Press the triangle button if you need me. Alright then, let's get started. And... Alright, this is already going off to a great start. Oop, missed that one. And... there we go, didn't miss that one. Huh. That's odd. I'm not earning any boost. I guess it only gives you the amount that you get at the beginning. Oh well, I don't boost that much during the middle section of this stage. Hmm. I wonder just how much of this stage are they going to make me play through, because 1 minute and 30 seconds isn't that much time. Another thing is, this part of the stage kind of reminds me of the multiplayer from Sonic Adventure 2 where Sonic and Shadow could both ride down the uh, city escape hills, having to dodge bombs and take those trick ramps. Ah, the good old days. Back when Sonic was only known to have good games. Although, truth be told, I don't really think any of his other games were really that terrible. There's only really two games I can really think of that were really terrible, and that was uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog, even though Shadow of the Hedgehog, the game, has its own fan base. And then there's 06, which sucked so badly that everyone wanted to try it out because of just how bad it was. I don't know why, but I think it's become that one Sonic game that everyone wants to try because of how bad it is. I mean, I'm kind of like that too. I'm curious as to what kind of like experience I'd have. Would you guys kill me if I did an 06 Let's Play? I don't know, but... Wait. Oh! I thought I wasn't going to make it, but apparently for how many Chow you uh, keep with you, they give you one 5 second stopwatch. But since I kept all 5 of them, I was able to save about 25 seconds. Alright, that was a pretty cool stage. Now, moving on. Alright, it is time for... Wait for it. I don't know why it's taking so long to load, but anyway, it's time for Act 2, Challenge 2. Let's get started. It's time for Dash Ring 1, 2, 3. Pass through all Dash Rings in order and reach the goal before time runs out. Okay, sounds simple enough. Let's get started. Okay, this stage is a little bit annoying. Although it's not like I can't beat it. And this one is all about timing. Making sure you humming attack at the right time to hit the rings. Ah. Alright. Ah, oh, man. If only it was a little bit lower, then I would have just landed on that one platform. Alright, doing good. Oh, no. Ah, they thought about everything. Nice. Alright, and that didn't help me at all. I don't know why, but it, I feel as though the humming attack always makes me feel better about trying to land on something, but it always seems to screw me over in the end. Alright, that time it worked. Jumping from one platform to the other. And... Okay, that really didn't help me. I thought I'd already land on, and I just tried to hop on to the next one. Alright. Getting close. Ah, dang it. Get out of my way! Whoa! I went far. Okay, and... There we go. Oh. That was a little sloppy. Although we did succeed in the end anyway. So... Let's move on. And now it's time for... Act 2, Challenge 3. Let's get started. It's time for Topsy Turvy. Use the horizontal bars and spinning platforms to reach the goal before time runs out. 
Oh boy. Now it's a bouncing act with timing. This should be fun. Let's get started. Alright, here we are in Topsy Turvy. Let's get started. And let's go. And we're already starting with the heavy platform bits. Yeah, I can already tell you that most of City Escape's missions are going to be platform based. Which isn't bad, it's just I would have liked more variety between the platforming and the uh, more momentum based challenges. Kind of like what Overdrift was back in Speed Highway. Although, I can already tell you what my favorite challenge is. It's probably going to be Act 2 Challenge 1 when it comes to the modern Sonic stages. Although, it might be because I did that in one run and I really do consider that the perfect run. I mean, when I look back now, I didn't really snag onto anything. I didn't like lose any of my momentum. I didn't lose any rings. Well, I didn't take any damage. But just overall, I think I did as well as I could. I don't think I could really improve anymore on that stage. But anyway, we're coming up to the goal because I think I hear it. There it is, and we're done. Oh my god. Wow. That was close. I didn't even notice what the time was, and... Wow, that was close. Okay. Good thing it was on a recap of Classic Sonic Speed Highway. Anyway, let's move on to... Act 2, Challenge 4. Let's get started, shall we? It's time for High Speed High Jinx 2. Enemies move and shoot at double speed, try to get to the goal in time. Uh, I do not like this one. Let's get it over with. Alright, here we are in High Speed High Jinx 2. Let's get started. And you know what? I have a topic for the stage. I think I know why I like 3D Sonic games more than 2D Sonic games. Because when you're in a 3D perspective, you can actually see what's in front of you. I always wondered why I liked Modern Sonic more than Classic Sonic, because Classic Sonic's good too. And I've come to the realization that it's because I can see what's coming next. Whenever I play as Classic Sonic, I always think, oh boy, I better get ready for something that is probably coming up, because usually I can tell at least half of the time when they're probably going to place like a platform that I have to jump up to like before I even see it. And I don't like guessing, because most of the time, there's like this really good shortcut, and I probably missed it because, well, I couldn't see it in time, while it was running really fast. But you know what, I think there's a simple solution for Classic Sonic's problem. Just pan out the camera more like what Rayman Origins did. And since I'm talking about fixing Classic Sonic with Modern Sonic, all you'd have to do is really go back to the way Sonic Adventure worked. The speed was fine in that game, and the controls were more than bearable. And I know that means that going back to a slower Sonic, but let's face facts here. In the original Sonic the Hedgehog, how fast was he really? Anyway, let's move on to... The last, but certainly not least, challenge in City Escape. It's time for Act 2, Challenge 5. Let's do it. It's time for another doppelganger race. I'm hopeful that you know how these work by now, so I don't have to explain it. So, let's get started. Alright, here we are in City Escape. We're gonna ride down this hill one last time. Let's do it. Alright, now that I've played this stage quite a few times already, I can give my opinion on some of the tweaks that they made to City Escape since the last time that we've seen it since Sonic Adventure 2. One thing to be noted, they did perfectly on the snowboarding sequence. In the original I thought it was a little short, and I know a couple of people think that it's now too long. That and the gun truck sequence is also a little long, which I do admit that sequence is a little long, but I think this is perfect. The amount of time you spend on the snowboard is just perfect. The amount of time it takes for you to be able to fully control Sonic is about 30 seconds, which they definitely expanded on the snowboarding bit a lot, so it's okay that it took a little bit longer than the original. It kind of makes me think, why wasn't Sonic Riders like this? And also, why wasn't there a multiplayer option for the console version of Sonic Generations? I mean, I would have loved to have faced another player playing as Shadow and me playing as Sonic going down City Escape, snowboarding. It would have been awesome and hilarious at the same time. Although the people who own the 3DS version of Sonic Generations do have a multiplayer option, which I hear is pretty good. 
I understand if they didn't have a multiplayer for the consoles because, well, they either one, didn't think of putting one in, or two, time constraints, which was probably the reason why. And yes, dangers are looking around every turn because this thing is trying to kill me with buzz saws. Okay, I have to give Gun props on this one. They found the most dedicated driver to try and run over this hedgehog. I mean, seriously. Anyone else would have given up already, but this guy just won't. Just please, for the sake of everyone, just please stop chasing me. I mean, you've destroyed countless buildings, and you've probably killed some people too going into those buildings thinking, oh, it's vacant. Just please, for everyone's sake, stop chasing me. Uh, and this part just unnecessary. You know, there's a perfectly good street down there. But no, you have to run on the side of the building and try and chase me that way. Well, too bad, you can't. And now that this is all over, I just want to sit on a beach drinking coconut milk from a coconut with a straw. In other words, let's get out of here. And now that we have played through the five modern Sonic stages of City Escape... We have fully restored all of City Escape. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now that I'm done here, thank you for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. And I hope that this guide has helped you in order to get 100%. And until next time, guys, take care. And I'll see you guys later. Jeez. Sonic needs a break. Seriously, from all that running, he's getting tired and old and, ah, uh, jeez.